Hello everyone. My name is Ruthimi Oyefumi and by the grace of God, I am the servant overseer of His Masterpiece Church here in Indipidu, Lagos, Nigeria. For a while now, a burden has been in our hearts to trust God that the water level of the Word of God in the body of Christ and in the life of the average believer goes beyond just a Sunday Sunday and a service day to the point where every single person begins to live, begins to move and begins to practice the word of God as it is written in scripture. The Lord further buttressed up the burden by giving us a scripture in the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11 which says in the days will come when there will be a famine, not of bread or of water. So that you not think that it's talking about the famine that is happening or what the Nigerian national state is calling recession. A famine of, not a famine of bread or of water, but a famine of the word of God. But you know, the one that burdens me the most is not just the fact that the Lord declared that there will be a famine, but it's what will happen as it's stated in verse 12. When he said, and they shall go from sea to sea, from north to east, from north to south, going from place to place, looking for the word of God, but they will not find it. And before we get to that state, the Lord stirred, up, stirred, stirred our hearts to come to this point of saying, for the next 90 days, from the 1st of March, we're trusting God that every one of us will get enlisted in what we call a 90 days word invasion. It's not a challenge. It's not a game. It's something that we want to trust God that every one of us will get enlisted into practice and do on a daily basis for the next 90 days. Because it's proven that whatever you do for 21 days becomes a part of you. How much more if you do it for 90 days? We want to trust God that we would reduce the number of biblical illiterates that we have in the body of Christ and getting everybody to the point where they will begin not just to hear the word of God as spoken by their pastors, but also know the word of God for themselves. Just like I said about the Berean Christian, they received the word of readiness of heart, but they also went back to check the things that they were told, so as to remove God from self, error from truth, accuracy from inaccuracy in the interpretation and disposition or speaking of the word of God. So to this, to this end, from the 1st of March 2017, I want to tell and implore you, everyone watching or listening, to join us in a 90-day word invasion. We want the word of God to invade every aspect of our lives. And that's why we broke the 90 days into three seasons. The first season, the first 30 days, we're going to trust God to sow the word of God in our spirits, meaning that every day for the next, for the first 30 days, we're going to be speaking the word of God. There will be scriptural meditations that will be sent to us via Facebook. The, the details will scroll as I'm speaking and I'll also reiterate it at the end of this short broadcast to you. The first 30 days, like I said earlier, we're going to be sowing the word of God in our spirits every day. We'll take a scripture to meditate on it, to speak it into our lives and to internalize it as it become part of us so that we'll widen our knowledge of the word. Just like the scripture said in Psalm 119 verse 11, your word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. So if you're contending with sin, you're contending with something in your, in your life, this is an opportunity for you to key into this word and use the word of God to overcome every character defect in your life. The second 30 days, which will call season two, will be praying the word of God. It's been proven over time that many people in the church today don't know the word of God. So they pray prayers inaccurately. Some people say all sorts of things. They say spirits die, spirits don't die. I'm not so concerned about what they have said or what they did not say because everybody speaks from the standpoint of their understanding. But I want us to go into the word of God, which is the leveler and the foundation and pillar of truth. To trust God to pray accurately from the scriptures. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. I want you to trust God for the next 30 days. To ensure that you are not praying anything outside of the scriptures. 
that you will pray only in the scriptures whatever prayer point you cannot find or trace to the scriptures you don't pray i'm just saying to us that we're practicing something that will cause a revolution in our prayer lives and then the last 30 days is season three i want you to trust god that for the next for that next 30 days or for the next last 30 days of that 90 days will be prophetic positive declarations of the word of god so all that captured in 90 days are the things that the lord laid in our hearts for us to do i want to plead with you to join us this is not about any denomination this is not about any religion this is about your relationship one-on-one -on -one with god i want every one of us to come to the fore where we will take the word of god as the only and final authority in our lives so join us this 90 days as we go on a journey with God to work on our spirit, to work on our soul and to work on our body. I believe God that in this 90 days, there will be people that will testify of miracles. There will be people that will testify of healings. There will be people that will testify of divine interventions and situation changes because the word of the Lord is still living and active, sharper than any two edged sword piercing to the dividing soul and spirit bone and marrow and it's a discerner of the thoughts at the intents of a man's heart when you store the word in your heart it will help you to discern so many things and you would limit your error proximity or your proximity to make errors or to make mistakes and i trust god that god will help us so to be part of this you can be part of it in two or thereabout ways the first way to be part of it is for you to join us by logging on to Facebook, back to the Bible, back to the Bible on Facebook. You can trust God to be part of it. So you look for it and request to be added. There are people waiting as I'm speaking to you who would add you to the group. So that by the time we start on the 1st of March, you will be there every day for 90 days. And then we'll also trust God at different points in time to be able to reach every one of us on www.masterpieceradio.com which you can hear us live as we recite the word, as we declare the word, as we speak the word. It might not be every day, but definitely intermittently notifications will be sent and everyone that is part of it can hear the declarations of the word of God, can hear the speaking of the word of God and internalize the word of God. This 90 days is powered by his masterpiece church and we're saying on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will put the word of the Lord in front of you in what you're doing and in every aspect of your life so that your maturity will appear to all. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. I look forward to you being part of it from the 1st of March for the next 90 days from the 1st of March. The Lord bless you.